Hey, I'm Lauren from TastyPC.TV and today I'm taking a really quick look at Phobia's UC2 LT Plexi CPU water block and showing you how to fit it. So let's get started. So just kind of quickly skimming over the box and what comes in it. Firstly, I do have the UC2 LT version, meaning it's the second revision, even though the box says UC1, just ignore that. Um, but inside you do have the block itself in this kind of like foam thing. <laughs> um, and you also get the mounting kit, which comes with everything you need to mount it, as well as a tube of Phobia heat grease. Now this kit um, works with any, pretty much all Intel sockets, 775, 1155, 1156, 1366, 2011, and of course Haswell 1150. Um, although you do have the option of getting this in the AMD version with the AMD mounting kit instead. And then onto the block itself, now this is the plexi version, it's also available in brass and um, in plastic, and I have already done a quick look of the UC1 LT plastic version. Now I have to admit, originally when I saw this in pictures, I wasn't very sold on how it looked at all, and I wasn't very keen on it, I always thought it wouldn't be the kind of thing that I'd want to use on one of my own rigs. But I have to say, seeing it in real life, it does look really nice, and really clean, and it's got this really kind of like stylish... Look, I don't know, I just really like it. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's got Phobia and UC2 etched into it here. But the fact that it allow you to see your coolant inside, like I can imagine um, putting like my Mayhem's or a pastel coolant that I've got in there, I think it'll look really nice. And also you've got these little holes here to allow you to put small LEDs in there and it will just light up. And I think it could look really pretty and I definitely do want to use this in a loop now. Um, but... Now because it is plexi, and it's the same with the plastic one, you do have to be careful that you don't put threads in it longer than 5mm, um, because you do have the potential to crack it. Um, but looking at the back, you can see that it is silver nickel. Now you do have the option of getting e you know, either the plexi one, the brass one, or the plastic one, with either a full copper heat plate, I suppose you call it, or a silver nickel one. And I did ask, given that it's silver nickel, does it mean that it's not going to transfer heat as well? And they did say that um, it won't transfer it as well, but the difference won't be noticeable. So if you do go for the silver nickel one, obviously it means it's going to look better, but, you, but the small amount of heat transfer decrease, you know, you won't even notice it. Um, so I do really like it. It looks really nice. Um, but also, I noticed that you've got screws here holding the kind of heat plate thing into the block itself, meaning that you can remove it and it make it easier to clean but also, I guess, easier to mod if you're that way inclined. Um, but yeah, I do really like this, and I actually, I think I'm actually going to put a little loop on it to show you what it looks like with coolant inside. So I think that while I'm doing it, I'll probably film it and just make a fitting guide out of it, seeing as, you know, this kit doesn't come with any instructions, and um, just in case, you know, any of you are new to water cooling and are curious about any of the process. So onto the fitting process, this block doesn't come with a back plane and for that reason we've got these four screws to be able to secure the block onto the motherboard. So the first thing you want to do is get the plastic washers and just put them on the screws to stop obviously the metal part of the screw from touching the back of the motherboard. And you want to do this with all four of them. And then just... Um, put them the next thing you want to do is get the next four plastic washers and put those on top to stop the metal bolt from touching the top of the motherboard next what you want to do is you want to get your four metal bolts and put one on each screw and this just secures the screws and like holds them tight on the motherboard. Okay, so I find that with the bolts, hand tightening them is normally enough, but sometimes it's hard to get to them and it is nice to just give them an extra little tighten, um, and the kit does come with an allen key, so all you want to do is just hold the bolts still on one side, and then get your allen key, um, 
and just tighten it. The Allen key is actually too small. Okay, Fovia have included an Allen key too small for the screws or bolts or whatever you want to call them, which is fantastic. Um, <laughs> gold star to Fovia. So um, this isn't a massive problem though, because I imagine the majority of people watching this will have other Allen keys lying around, so I'm just going to go find one quick. Okay, so I found another Allen key, one that fits this time. So, trying this again. So when I hold the um, bolt in place on the, on the board and then tighten on this side. Although it can still be a little hard to hold the bolts. I suppose you could do it with pliers if you really wanted to. But if you're careful. Obviously you don't want to do them too tight, still. It's a lot easier to show you with a small motherboard. Although when most people fit blocks they do it in their case, so... Should be easier from that point of view because you won't have the motherboard like wiggling around everywhere. But yeah, so they're just a bit tighter now. Um, anyway, so the next thing you want to do is do the file paste. Um, there are many different techniques of doing this, and people prefer to do it in different ways. But I like to do the way where you put a dot in the middle. Um, and I have some people have some people have said well, like putting the line and stuff is better. So I googled it and I found Logan's video on it where he's got like a piece of clear plastic, and he does the different styles, puts it down, and it shows you how it spreads. And the um, P technique, as it's called, is the best. Although I do, oh god, always end up doing slightly too much. I also have it, I think. Oh, well. um, so yeah, then you want to put your block on top. Um, and then your four metal washers. Then the four springs. And then the four, um, I suppose you can call them screws still. But all you want to do is you want to put one at each, um, obviously, corner. And you want to do them like diagonals first and tighten them evenly to give the block even pressure. Because you don't want to do it too tight on one side and have it still loose on the other sides. So I just put those on lightly and then put two on. And when you do these up you want to do them tight enough so that the um, screw and the spring begins to compress but you the coils don't want to be touching so you still want to get between them you don't want to do it too tight and just make sure you're doing them all up evenly okay um so the next thing you want to do is with the fittings now remember that the threads cannot be longer than five millimeters otherwise they're too long for them um, also hand tightening definitely enough I mean I find them hand tightening enough and I imagine the majority of my subscribers are probably stronger than me so you know you do not need to use tools with this I've heard that some people have tried to tighten up spatulas um, sorry not spatulas <laughs> that would be hilarious um, with spanners sorry some people have tried to do it with spanners don't try and do it with a spanner, you do, you really don't need to. I find that even, like, you know, with these mod my toy fittings, even the tool that comes with those does it up um, <laughs> too tightly. But yeah, so you even get, like, a little leaflet that says, only hand tighten, do not use tools. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you do these too tight, you can end up cracking it, and then it will leak, just as, same as if you don't do them up tight enough. So seriously, like, that is enough. And then... 
these on. So now what I'm going to do is just um, put a tiny little loop on it to show you what it is like with, oh god, I'm not even getting it on properly now, with the coolant in it. Okay, so I have now filled it with coolant and it does look really, really nice. And I never said earlier, but the block's got almost like a kind of like iced or glazed look. It is really nice. And the pictures definitely don't do it justice. But that was just my overview and kind of poorly done fitting guide of Phobia's Plexi UC2 LT CPU water block. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.